Good afternoon. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. And we helped you determine where Carly was during the 49 hours of her disappearance. Today, I've talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Carly to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed. All right, with that, we'll take a few questions. As Officer Hale said, when I call on you, please state your name and your affiliation. Yes, sir. Keith Mims, WAG G610, 100.1 FM Summit Media. Uh, Chief, do we at this time, or does the Hoover Police Department know the whereabouts of Carly Russell during that 49 our period that she was supposedly missing. Now, as I said the other day, was talking facts and everything. If I said anything today, it would just be speculation. Actual facts, we do not. Aaron Lula, WBC 13. Can you tell us where, or excuse me, what her motivation was for doing this, if you can? I wish I could tell you. I think only uh, Carly knows and maybe her attorney now, but uh, again, the statement that we received from him does not indicate any. Can you give us an idea of what charges you may be filing against her? Uh, that would strictly be up to the district attorney's office. David, I'm CBS 42. Can you uh, update us so that there is a meeting scheduled for this afternoon with the family? Or, or no. when is that meeting? Yeah. Uh, no, not uh, a meeting with the attorney, not the family or Carly. We have a meeting scheduled with the attorney, and that will take place some point tomorrow. And there is no meeting with Carly Russell or her family at this point? Not scheduled, no, sir. Yep. Brady Chapman with Fox 6. What's next to close his investigation? Well, again, we want to uh, talk to uh, talk to Mr. Anthony tomorrow and uh, and see if he has any uh, any more to discuss about uh, about the case. Uh, we'll certainly be asking if uh, if we'll get an opportunity to uh, again interview uh, Carly like we've wanted to since uh, since she returned. Chief Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340. Yes, sir. Your reaction now knowing that carly has admitted that this was made up well I'm, I'm glad that we got this you know we uh we certainly laid the facts out uh, to the to the to the you know, to, to you guys and and to the national uh media that had a lot of interest in this particular case uh uh the the sad thing is that uh again there were so many people that uh, that were involved uh, took this thing very very seriously and uh, and again we wanted the focus to be bring her home she got home we're very excited about that uh, you know, just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the facts, I think, last uh, Wednesday uh, pretty much showed that uh, we knew that it was, uh, it was a hoax. Lisa. Lisa Crane with WBTM 13. Do you know the expense you went to during this search? And if you don't have a, a dollar figure for us, just the, how big it was for you guys? Well, it was, uh, it was all hands on deck, and, uh, and we don't have a dollar figure yet. But, uh, uh, we're, we're certainly working uh, towards getting one, and not only ours, but there'll be uh, there'll be other agencies that uh, that had a lot of a uh, lot of support that they gave us, and had monetary expenses themselves. Right here. Jonathan, uh, John, with JLR investigates, are the parents under in, any investigation? You know, as I said the other day, 
we were going to try to determine exactly those 49 hours. So right now, you know, anything's on the table. We're, we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours, where she was, did she have any help? We have no idea. You know, I read the statement from Mr. Anthony, and that's all we know. Keith, Keith Mims, uh, uh, WHG 16, uh, Summit Media. Chief, let me ask you this. What do you think prompted or provoked Carly to uh, do this kind of thing? And um, are there any kind of mental issues that uh, the police department or the public should be concerned about or just what? You know, not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, this is a very elaborate, this was an elaborate deal. I mean, when you talk about calling a 911 and, and, and being up on the interstate, uh, uh, again, it would all be conjecture. Uh, so really, uh, I don't know. I was hoping that we'd have an opportunity to interview and we'd be able to ask, ask her those questions. Were any others involved in putting this story together for her? Uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, in his statement, says there was not. Liliana Calmy, WPRC, Fox 6 News. Um, you said that you had a meeting scheduled and it kind of switched into a statement. Did they give any type of reason that that switched? No, they did not. Thank you. Uh, Aaron Llewellyn, WBC 13. Um, just for clarification, Carly Russell is not in custody right now. That is correct. That is correct. Last question with David. David Lamb, once again. So, first of all, when did you actually see this letter? And, and second of all, do these admissions and the content of the letter alter the investigation at all? No, not at all. Uh, we'll continue to investigate. We're still trying to determine where those where she was those, during those 49 hours. But uh, I am glad that we received this. It, it at least puts uh, puts some of the social media super sleuths uh, hopefully at rest for a little bit as far as uh, what everyone, the conjecture of what everybody thinks took place. Uh, we know that, uh, that uh, by her own admission, it didn't happen. And, uh, you know, we're thankful for that. All right, thank you guys very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, first and foremost, I would like to thank AL.com on YouTube for this uh, press conference. You know, the last statement when the police chief said that we're going to put social media to rest, that we will put the facts out, and he failed to realize it was us the social media people are the reason why it was a hoax. Okay, let's, let, let, let's number one. Number two, they knew that. They knew it was a hoax. You know, and I even posted it on my previous, I mean, on my previous video of a TikToker even exposing that it was a hoax. Now, they're not going to give you the details on why it was a hoax, but... And people talk about, well, you know, uh, we're going to put that on social media notes. We're the reason why y'all had a story in the first place. Let's just keep it real. Like I said before, it was all because of a man. Let's just keep it real. This is all Jerry Stringer's bull crap. When the ex-boyfriend was, was cheating on... You know, her with the stripper. All hell broke loose. And we I even post receipts. Really, this woman on TikTok posted receipts saying that she herself on Facebook even said even basically confront this woman. Right? And basically saying this, 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 and this. And then she staged the kidnapping. She staged the alleged abduct abduction. To get back at the boyfriend. Now. A lot of people are going to say. Well she was hurt. Uh, you have to understand. Women get hurt. When their man cheated on. You know on her with other women. Blah 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 blah. But what you. What she just did. She's going to make our. Missing people. I'm talking about in the black community. They're not going to take that seriously now. Just like they did with the Jussie Smollett. And now this case. They're not going to take. If we report it missing. Or we be adopted. They're not going to take it seriously by the mainstream media now. Because of this case. And for those of you. are, And I'm going to be honest with you. We try to find her as a concern, okay? With a woman's allegedly missing, we 
people in the social media world like YouTube, like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, we try to push the story out there so that the mainstream media can get involved to finding this young lady. And it backfired in our faces. And now some people are going to say, well, she may suffer from mental health issues. But again, we took the time, some of us took the time and the effort to try to locate this woman. You know, obviously, she orchestrated the entire thing. And then there's reports that it was her and her friend, you know, orchestrated thinking, oh, let's find a place, let's find a spot to, you know, orchestrate this. To make it look like we see a child, which is really not. Make it look like, you know, someone scream. It was orchestrated by her to get back at the boyfriend. Because the boyfriend allegedly cheated on her with this, this stripper. This is a Jerry Springer type drama. And... Seeing all of this is that now because of this, it's bad enough that the, uh, the uh, Justice Smollett situation and now this case, there's a lot of probably like thousands among thousands of people in the black community we were, were missing daily or uh, being abducted daily that hasn't been reported by the mainstream media. Um, and then you have uh, a, a Twitter or even a website called Black and Missing. You see all these people in, in, in the black community missing daily. Whether it's children, whether it's adults, daily. And now because of this story, the mainstream media ain't going to take us seriously now. Because of this. And then now they don't want see you notice that the parents again don't want to talk to the press because they're embarrassed of the situation. The one you notice that the lawyer is talking in their behalf now. Normally the normally the mother always go on the press getting interviews and everything else. Now they stopped. They don't they're not doing that anymore. And and now this story is making us people who, who are content creators like myself or people on TikTok or everybody else that try to report, try to be as a concern, trying to find this woman. It's making us look bad over, over a Jerry Springer type mess. And then there's other stories, like I told you before, there's reports that she didn't even finish medical school. I mean, she was on drugs so bad. So, I mean, so much stuff going on that the media is covering. Or not covering, excuse me. And social media is covering and showing receipts. But, you know, when the, when the police chief ended and said, well, you know, we're going to end all this social media stuff and put the facts. If it wasn't for us, y'all wouldn't know about this case, number one. And number two, y'all wouldn't even know about what she did. It wouldn't even be out there if it wasn't for us, for, 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 the, for the commentators out there. So don't say, oh, we're oh, we going to kneel that, that, that we're the, we'll tell you the truth. I just couldn't believe that the police chief would even say anything like this. But I'm not surprised, though. But it shows you, you can't run away from social media. You can't. Whatever you do in the dark... Social media will find it. And it will be all, all black plaster. That's exactly what happened to the Carly Russell investigation. We in the social media found something. In falling, involving this case. People on TikTok exposing this woman. Ex in fact, on Facebook. That, yeah, she caught this man cheating on her. With a stripper. And she do it through this fake kidnapping to get back at him. But y'all choose to ignore 
people in social media because y'all know we bring in receipts. We bring in the facts. Not the police chief. Not not uh, Carly, Carly Russell's uh, attorney, even though uh, Carly Russell's attorney are now saying this, that it was a, a hoax. But let's be real. It was people in social media showing receipts that they did dirt fighting uh, a, what about Carly Russell situation on her Facebook. People in the social media did that. But y'all choose to ignore that. Y'all don't even give us applause. That's why the police chief said what he said. Well, we're gonna we're gonna kneel that social media uh stuff and we show you the facts. Oh really? If it wasn't for social media, you wouldn't even, you, you wouldn't even know it was a hoax. You wouldn't even know that she orchestrated the entire thing. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. This lion's den signing off. Deuces.